This is my Ponderium. It's a 10 gallon tank with a sponge filter, siphon return, and a siphon supply line run by a little solar pond pump. So this is the pond pump in a little container and it pumps water up to this tank, which is about an inch or two above the water level of the aquarium. So it creates a hydraulic head and it siphons the water from that upper tank into the aquarium. You can kind of see the current happening there with the Daphnia being floating around. And then the intake is simply um, a siphon tube that goes into the uh, into the sponge filter. It just siphons it from the top. The water of the tank never reaches over the top of that siphon tube, so all the water goes through the sponge filter, returning. And we've got um, Bacopa monieri, Java fern, red foxtail, another variety of Bacopa, and lots of st a string algae, and some Java moss. Three species of copepod, which would be the Daphnia um, moina, which are the very, very small ones. And then we have Daphnia pulex, which is the medium-sized ones, like that. And then we have the Daphnia magna, which are the ones that are really fat. They're like a quarter of an inch in size. That's the Daphnia magna, with the Daphnia pulex next to it. And then there's baby Daphnia pulex, but the little grayish, clearish ones are the Daphnia moina. And you can see them here. Well, sort of, you can see them. And then we have, floating on the top, the smallest vascular plant on Earth, which is the Wolfia. See if I can get it to focus in here on the Wolfia. Wolfia is small grains, green grains of a floating plant. There's, they're actually, it's actually a vascular plant with that flowers, but the flowers are microscopic. There's no roots, and it's the smallest flowering plant on Earth. There, you can kind of see it there. A little better. There you go. So, you can see him as little grains floating on the top there, see? That's the uh, Wolfia. Neocaridina rubra. These are the Taiwanese shrimp. And then we have glass shrimp, which are native to the U.S. I'm trying to find them. They're hiding. Glass shrimp are eating some of the Daphnia. It's amazing to watch them eat a Daphnia. And then the Taiwanese shrimp are eating all the mulm at the bottom of the tank as well as some of the string algae. So it's a ponderium. It's a different device. It's it's uh, a look into the 
into the workings of a pond, the e ecosystem of a pond, cold water pond here in the U.S. All the native species, most of them, except for the the plants, some of the plants. The the wolfian is actually discovered worldwide, and it was recently located even in the San Diego River Basin as a native plant. So it's amazing that the plant is distributed worldwide and it probably evolved during the Gondwana, uh, the great continent, before the division of the continents. And it's just such a small uh, thing. It's less than a millimeter. It's a flowering plant less than a millimeter.